In this video, I'm going to describe three types of cam, the plate or disc cam, the linear cam and the cylinder cam. The plate or disc cam consists of a metal plate fixed to a shaft called a camshaft. As the camshaft rotates, the cam moves a cam follower with either a reciprocating or an oscillating motion. The shape of the cam determines how the cam follower moves. A circular cam with an off-center axis gives a regular reciprocating motion in the cam follower. A square-shaped cam with rounded corners gives a rapid reciprocating motion. An egg-shaped cam gives a back and forth movement of the cam follower with a short time when the cam follower does not move. There may be two or more cam followers used with the cam. Cam followers are usually forced onto the cam profile by a spring. The part of the cam that causes the cam follower to fall is called the fall. The part of the cam that causes the cam follower to stay still is called the dwell and the part of the cam that causes the cam follower to rise is called the rise. The amount that the cam follower rises and falls is called the stroke. The stroke is the distance the cam follower travels from the top of the rise to the bottom of the fall. An oscillating motion is created in the cam follower when the cam follower is a lever and its fulcrum is not in line with the cam axis. In the animation of the internal combustion engine, the cam followers are pivoted in the middle with the effort force on one end of the lever and the load on the other end, so the levers are class 1 levers. A linear cam moves backwards and forwards on a slide and creates a reciprocating motion in the cam follower. The shape of the cam determines how the cam follower moves. A horizontal section in the linear cam profile causes the cam follower to stay still or dwell. The cylinder cam consists of a cylinder mounted on a cam shaft. The cylinder has a groove cut into it. The cam follower locates in the groove and the rotating cylinder cam causes the cam follower to move with either an oscillating motion or a reciprocating motion. The eccentric or off-center axis of plate cams makes these cams suitable for pushing and pulling applications. In this design, the cam is used as a clamping device. In this design, the cam is used as a clamping device for ropes on yachts and dinghies. In this design, a pair of sprung cams are used to grip ropes. The greater the pulling force, the more the cams tighten on the rope. A common example is the quick release mechanism on some bicycle wheels. The design utilizes a cam to clamp wheels in place. Cams are utilized in the design of distributors. Distributors are part of the electrical system in older cars with internal combustion engines. Finally, here's a copy of a child's design for a toy rabbit that utilizes eccentric wheels to make the rabbit move with a hopping action.